So let's go to the LSL wiki, which is here. Um, it's currently being reorganized. We'll just follow the link. Uh, this is an extremely useful um, site for you to be aware of. Um, it contains an enormous amount of information about scripts um, and some details in every command uh, that's in LSL scripting language. Um, so I recommend you spend some time here. So I'm going to just show you um, the rotation function. So let's click on functions. If we go down here to, if it was, remember it was LL set rot, local rot, which is this one here. Uh, and it tells you how it works. It tells you that you need a rotation, which is what we figured out ourselves. So let's see what a rotation is. It talks about these quaternions and has some additional detail. Now I'm not going to read this out for you. Um, not efficient use of your time. I would suggest that you, you read this in your own time. What it does though is gives you this function which makes life a lot easier. And what I'm going to do is, is copy that and paste it into our into our script and I'll show you how we're going to use it. And I'd suggest you come back and have a look and read of this in your own time and it will help explain what we're doing. So let's paste that function into our script, the top here. And it simply makes life a lot easier for us. Um, so we can call that now. Let's define our rotation. We'll call it hand rot. And we'll call our um, a new function we just pasted in from the wiki and the uh, parameters it needs as you can see up here is a vector and a float so the vector simply says well, which um, of the x y and z um, parameters do you want to change now we want to change the y so we'll put a one in the y if you remember we were putting um, values in the in the um, in the y value here, if I just move that out of the way. If I put in my 30 degrees there, it rotated it correctly, right? So y is the axis we're we're using. Um, and what do we want to set it to? Well, as discussed, it's six times the minute um, because they're 360 degrees in a circle, 60 minutes in an hour, so it's 360 divided by 6 to give you the number 6. So that's where we come from. And that you think that might be it. There's one further complication that this function uses radians, not degrees. So there is a further step required to convert the degrees to radians, which is multiplying by this constant that's just, which is defined called deg to rad. And then if we close the brace and put a semicolon in the end, uh, we should be just about there. And we can now put hand rot into our rotation. And our, our um, function is ready. Our, our script is finished. So if we save that, uh, we've got a problem. Um, and the problem is, I can't spell, so... Uh, Let's do that, correct that, save it again, this time it's successful, and it's uh, saving it away and compiling it, we'll just give it a second, it's complete, if we go back, we can now see that our hand has already rotated by itself, um, it's showing the correct current time, which is 15 minutes past the hour, and if we watch it for long enough, you'll see it uh, rotate all by itself, um, into uh, its next position which will be 16 minutes past the hour. So uh, let me just pause it for a second and uh, wait till it moves to 16. And there we are, so it's now moved to 16 minutes all by itself, so it's working perfectly. Uh, we now need to do something very similar for the hour hand. 